Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna throw some random get ready with me video because it's been a long time since I filmed last video. Technically I uploaded some video like Roman lip tint review or JD Glow eyeshadow review but these were perfumed a long time ago so yeah I'm sorry back to my upload schedule so yeah uh, this is uh, some catch up video this angle is something like a zoom <laughs> display Basically, I was in a really bad time when it comes to my mental health. In that time, I literally do this nothing and melted in my bed. Recently, I have been recovering a little bit and I can film a video right now uh, this was uh, Sophie and IP uh, you will resist smooth milk yeah this is very good but I have some these dry patches because of my threatening cream skincare so yeah but I don't know I don't care and, and let's talk about my summer vacation uh, I went to Greece in uh, August I was so excited about that trip I love traveling especially to a foreign country and uh, like I said I was in a bad situation but I booked my uh, plane ticket and hotel earlier this March or something. So I was beyond excited about that trip. But time went by and in in August or in July, I dropped in a bad mental condition, so I really try not to cancel my trip. And yeah, at one time, I thought. I couldn't make it, but I could. And yeah, I went to Greece. I visited at first Athens and second uh, Santorini. And the last place was uh, Mykonos. For foundation, I used this Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation mixed with this uh, green color corrector. I was really interested in this uh, foundation because uh, some of my favorite YouTubers who are oily skin person were raved about this. 
so I got this from uh, I think Amazon UK but uh, this is a, lo a little bit heavy for me because this is I think this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation but this is very long lasting and this is really sweat proof I went in Japanese Shitoken Gaikaku Hosuiro basically that is uh, underground facility that is supposed to block water when the when some rivers flooded in that place it was really humid I I don't want to be there again <laughs> because of that my camera battery died right now so I switched to my uh, iPhone camera and on that day I wore this foundation and after that I checked my face and yeah this foundation was well put and didn't fade so yeah but this shade is a little bit darker for me this is a uh, 040 neutral hazel and I have olive and don't so I mix this together and back to the grey strip first I visited Athens and um, I think my in my opinion that was the average but I didn't visit uh, any historical places except for Parthenon yeah everyone goes Parthenon when you visit Greece but unfortunately I don't have uh, little uh, knowledge about history and Greece uh, myth so yeah my main focus was uh, Mykonos and Santorini so the second place was Santorini Island. Uh, Santorini was uh, good, obviously, but I think a little bit uh, overrated <laughs> in my opinion uh, because um, the view is very good, but for me, Santorini was the place where I wanted to go, but now I do not particularly twice.
Sorry, I can't speak while we doing eye makeup, especially I'm trying some colorful looks, which I am not at all used to. I'm using Med Cosmetics Impassive Palette, which I love. Okay, so I finished my eye look and put the false, false lashes for the first time in my life. I don't think I put these four slashes perfectly, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. This is so heavy and it's too hard to blink. <laughs> so I don't know if I like wearing four slashes, but yeah. I'll continue to try wearing this. For today's eye look, I used this melt uh, impassive palette. Oh. And this inner corner shadow is a version from Kriana. And I use I use this on this area uh, phosphorescent from Kriana. And back to the topic of Greece uh, <laughs> trip. Uh, uh, last my last destination was uh, Mykonos Island. Mykonos became my favorite spot in Greece of all where I visited. Now I put this uh, Ella Mascara Beyond Powder in the shade OMG. This is my absolute favorite highlight. I don't know you can catch, but this highlight has a uh, peachy sheen in it this is almost like a uh, candlelight And recently, I've been using this uh, Bad Magla, a single shadow in the shade Statuesque, as my contour. Today, my face is a little bit lighter than my neck, I guess. So. I'll deepen up 
my jawline a little bit. And for lips, I want to use um, one of these uh, Kate Lip Monster. These are so hyped up in Japan that you cannot find these in store. These are launched uh, last year or two years ago, but these are still unavailable or uh, hard to find in store. So first, I'm gonna use uh, the shade Last Box. Okay, this shade is Last Boss. Mm, I don't hate this, but I want something more dark. Next, I'm going to try this dark shade. This is uh, 2AM. This is 2 a.m. And lastly, I'm gonna try this uh, wine latex from uh, Linda Hoberg. Now, Linda uh, LH Cosmetics. So this is the look with latex fever. I love this look. So I couldn't talk as much as I expected because <laughs> doing makeup while talking is very difficult for me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup time <laughs> by the way I reviewed this uh, Linda Hoback lipstick uh, in my previous video so please feel free to watch that yeah that's all <laughs> thank you for watching if you like this vibe please subscribe and comment down below so see you on the next video. Bye.